Yeah, hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This week's video is just going to be a bit of a test on what you can get done with a 350 watt inverter. I recently picked up this little Dometic 350 watt uh, pure sign inverter for the purpose of charging some batteries uh, over the back of the car whilst I'm traveling. Uh, in particular, what I'm interested in charging is really two things. I want to charge the 18 volt battery that you see in front of you here, which is to match up with that chainsaw skin from Azito that they provided me for the purpose of review. Uh, and you'll see that uh, link to the review up in the top right hand corner or down below in the description. We're also going to run the Tool Pro battery charger, which is also 18 volt. We'll put both of those to the test and just see what sort of current we're pulling out of those. And I've also recently picked up uh, a little DJI Spark drone. You can get 12 volt battery chargers for these, but they're probably not going to be as efficient or as quick to charge the batteries as using the actual 240 volt charger that we've got there, that little dock, and that'll allow me to charge three batteries up at once. Pretty much charge up the whole kit there uh, with the 240 volt inverter and the standard accessories that come with the little DJI Spark itself. Uh, I'm going to connect these up just on the little charge bench that I have here. This is where I do all my charging, uh, you know, the laptop, batteries, uh, radios, all that sort of stuff. It's all done just through this little power board uh, connected to 240 volt. It's going to connect up the little Dometic inverter uh, to our 12 volt power supply here. This is just one from one of my radios. Uh, unfortunately, the one that you've seen in previous videos, it has the nice little display on the front to show us what sort of current we're outputting. It just stopped working, so uh, I need to get that repaired. So in the meantime, we're going to press one of these other ones into duty, and we're going to connect up this little watt meter that you've seen in previous videos. Uh, link below in the description uh, for where you can pick these up off eBay anywhere between about $10 and $15. Uh, I really recommend having a couple of these uh, if this is your sort of thing. We're going to jump in, we're going to hook these up, we're going to connect them up to the inverter. See what sort of standby current the inverter itself is pulling, uh, see how it runs and um, we're trying to effectively replicate a battery setup in the car uh, so I can know what sort of current we're pulling uh, and what sort of load I'm putting on the battery. Uh, in particular for running some of these things that we want to take out camping with us and in particular things we want to use whilst we're out camping. We're out in the shed and what we're going to do is we're going to take our little inverter uh, and we're going to stick an Anderson plug on the end of that. Uh, and keep in mind, these are cheapies. I think I paid probably about 20 bucks or something like that for about 20 of these. I have seen lots of feedback online saying never to touch the cheap ones. Uh, only to buy the genuine Anderson power poles. Bills, I can tell you, is uh, I've used these on plenty of different projects. Lots of different projects, solar panels, caravans, cars, you know, internal power supplies, all sorts of different stuff. Lots of different things from an amateur radio type perspective. <laughs> and then we yet to have an issue and have shared these with other guys and stuff like that. We tend to buy bulk. It's always super handy to have some of these uh, around in the shed. Now to go out and grab some. We've got the power meter just connected up, uh, the same as we did. We've been away, uh, been out playing. I've uh, chopped down a heap of trees. Use the chainsaw and the pruner uh, just to well and truly drain this battery down. The battery uh, it says we've still got about two left. Uh, so that's two thirds. I'd suggest it's probably a little bit lower than that because the chainsaw was slowing down a little bit, so we're a little bit down on power. Um, so I've well and truly flogged this battery, giving it a, a bit of a hiding. This is our Azito Power Exchange 18 volt battery charger. And the details on the back, uh, if you're looking, they do have a standard battery charger, and this is the fast charger. Output 21 volts uh, and at 3 amps, so obviously that 18 volt battery requires 21 volts uh, to charge. Input is 200 to 250, so we're going to be applying around about the 240 mark. And it says 72 watts uh, is the output, so we'll see how close we are to that. Just plug this in. We'll slot our battery in. We've now got under charge mode there. And we're looking around about 6.5 amps. Let's call it 6.5 amps for charge. Uh, keeping in mind that that is at 13.5 volts. So if your battery is a little bit lower, uh, say you're sitting around about the 12 and a half, uh, that current is going to go up a little, yeah, maybe up around the 7 amps or something, uh, to get our 85 watts that we've got over here. I did say it was rated around about 72 watts. Uh, so that's reasonably close. Uh, so if you're going to be looking at charging this from a, an auxiliary battery, you probably want to do this whilst the car is running. Certainly you could do this um, off just a standard battery. I've got 130 amps uh, in the back and that would charge off this. Probably going to take around about an hour to possibly an hour and a half, I think. I think it says about 80 minutes. Assuming that takes an hour and a half, uh, let's round that off to about 10 amps uh, in total uh, that you might be pulling out of 
130 amp battery or that I'd be pulling out of a 130 amp battery. So there we go. So that fan's just come on. You can probably hear that now. It doesn't tend to stay on for too long, but it does cut in and out. So you need to be aware of that. Uh, and there it goes, cuts out again. So it was on no more than about 10, 15 seconds. So for our 87 odd watts that we're pulling out of that, uh, this is our 350 watt inverter. So we've got plenty of overhead to play with. We're here, uh, just to make it a complete test, we're also going to put through the 18 volt Tool Pro battery. Tool Pro is a super cheap brand, uh, that's our in house brand of tools. Uh, and as you'll see up in the right hand corner again, a link to the review uh, of the kit that this come with. This, and I've got a review of the Tradies kit uh, up in that top right hand corner, so if you want to go and have a look at that. Or again, just the links in the description down there below uh, to all of these videos that I'm referring to. Um, now this is the 18 volt battery as well. This is also a 4 amp. Tool Pro one here, you'll see just on the right hand side, also refers to itself as a fast charger. And this is saying that it's going to take 78 watts. And the output is 14.4 uh, to 20 volts, so that's interesting, and also interesting that they put the rating in milliamps, so it's 3000 milliamps, which is basically 3 amps. The output uh, on the Azito, also 3 amps. So we're expecting to see very similar sort of results, just in standby, again, probably looking a little bit less than we were seeing from the Azito, uh, so we're yeah, anywhere, you know, up to about the 0.1 of an amp. We're on about two thirds of a charge on this one as well, uh, the same that we're seeing on the Azito. So we'll slot that battery in. So it is already showing that it's charging here from the red light, charging about the six amps, uh, which is a little bit under what we were seeing from the Azito. Uh, and we are a lot closer to that 78 watts rated uh, that was that's on the bottom of the Tool Pro. What we've got here is our little DJI charger. Uh, this is just a power pack uh, that takes a 240 volt input and outputs 13.05 uh, volts at around about 4 amps. Keep that in mind that that's putting out 13 volts and it was actually 3.83 amps. So that's what this is going to require to, to run. So we've taken those down to around about the 20%. Uh, which is roughly where you want to go when you're flying these things. We're going to be charging off our two batteries. We're also going to be charging our remote controller, which conveniently plugs into the end of that same pack uh, via a USB. So we'll plug that in. We've got all of this hooked up. So we've got the controller and the two batteries on the charging dock all plugged in. We are plugged into our inverter over here. And you can see our watt meter there, currently showing no amps. And we're sitting around about 13.8 volts, which is what our power supply is supplying. We will now switch this on. So that we're in about 4.9, just under the 5 amps, which is roughly what I saw previously uh, through testing. The controller is taking a charge, and both of our batteries are taking a charge as well. Just unplug a few things, and we'll just see what the current draw is on each of these items. So we'll just pull the batteries out one at a time. So that's one battery and the controller, we're in about 3.2 amps. Second battery out. We'll see that drop. That's around about one amp just for the controller itself. I'm going to disconnect the controller of around about uh, 300 milliamps or 0.3 of an amp. Slot the one battery back in. So now it's just the single battery, no controller. 2.6. Second battery on. That's testing the battery and up she comes. So again, just under that 5 amps. So clearly that controller doesn't pull a lot of current in the grand scheme of things, being that it's only taking a 5 volt output. We're just charging both those batteries at the same time, just under that 5 amps. So these are probably going to take about an hour to charge. This is going to be you know, 5 amp hours we're going to be pulling out of the battery, uh, or 5 amps uh, for that period of 1 hour. And around about anywhere between 65 and 70 watts. Our Dometic 350 watt inverter is more than enough, more than capable uh, of charging these batteries. Probably ain't gonna get a faster charger for this that's probably gonna do four or six batteries uh, as a group. So I add additional batteries uh, to my setup, uh, but at this stage, this is more than enough to obviously be charging all of these devices together. So there you go. Uh, so if you allow around about the five amps, uh, to be pulled from your battery whilst using the inverter, you'll be well and truly covered. I'm really happy with the little inverter here. I only paid about $130 for this one. I did find a cheap online price, 
uh, from Snowy's, which I'll put a link up there where I found this one. Uh, but because I needed it for the weekend, I was heading away. I got in touch with BCF, mentioned that I found uh, a deal online with Snowy's, and they were more than happy just to match that price and provide me this for around about $130 there. So for that price, I'm actually considering picking up another one, an absolute bargain. Uh, otherwise, I think they're around about the $200 mark. But again, for a Dometic brand, which is basically the American version of the Waco brand, also looking at some cheap eBay uh, variants of the inverters. Uh, but when this one came up for this price, I thought, well, look, you know, it's a name brand. I've got to grab this and uh, been more than happy with the result. So that's it, guys. Thanks very much for stopping by and having a look at this inverter with me. Been very happy with it thus far. The build quality seems excellent. The fan coming off and on fairly regularly is a little bit annoying. I wish it would just come on and stay on. Obviously, there's some sort of thermal regulation going on there. Once it gets up to temperature, the fan comes on, drops by temperature, and it cuts back off again. This probably isn't suitable for sticking in the caravan if you're going to try and be running this overnight and charging up batteries because it would get a little bit annoying. Uh, but if you're going to be just charging up batteries during the middle of the day, or whilst you're mobile in the car, you know, between sites, uh, or if there's other things that you want to charge up, this is certainly a good unit to grab. Uh, I'll put the link from BCF down there below and the one for Snowies if you want to go and have a look at those. And I'll also put a link down below to eBay and if you want to grab one of these off there. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, appreciate the views. Appreciate the subscriptions. Um, channel's come along nicely. Uh, and I appreciate all the support and comments. Thanks very much. We will catch you on the next one.